In the year 2000, the presidential election pitted George W. Bush against Al Gore. No one could have known it at the time, but the election was critical for one reason. It would decide who was in charge on 9-11. In our timeline, it was George W. Bush. But what would have happened had Al Gore won instead? How would he have reacted to 9-11 and would Iraq have been invaded? In this video, we examine the presidency of Al Gore. This is Knowledge Voyage. But before this video starts, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get all of our weekly videos about history. Thank you. The 2000 election at first seemed to be rather dull. Neither candidate was particularly charismatic and both candidates were campaigning as centrists. Almost nothing seemed to divide them, which may explain why in our timeline the result was so close. In our timeline, the election was won by Bush after judges agreed a narrow win in Florida would be upheld. This gave Bush a narrow win of just five votes in the Electoral College. There were also five states where less than 5% of the vote more would have seen Gore flip the state and win the overall presidency, even if, as in our timeline, he lost Florida. So Gore would have won had he won Missouri, New Hampshire, Ohio, Nevada or Tennessee. So what if Gore had won instead of Bush? How would he have reacted to 9-11 and would he have extended the war into Iraq? And the answer, surprisingly, is probably yes. Al Gore would have almost certainly attacked Afghanistan in response to 9-11, so in that sense he would have been the same as George W. Bush. The attack of 9-11 was so audacious and offensive in attacking the US itself, no president of either party would have allowed it to go without retaliation. But perhaps a bigger question is does Gore expand the war into Iraq? Conventional wisdom is he wouldn't, given that he is often seen as a pragmatic liberal in contrast to Bush and his Wild West language of dead or alive fighting bin Laden but Gore's political career suggests otherwise. Gore signed the Iraq Liberation Act of 1998, which called for Saddam to be removed by force, so it's highly probable that he would have attacked Iraq anyway. But perhaps he would have cultivated more allies and worked harder to secure UN approval, which was famously not granted in our timeline to George W. Bush. And again, perhaps surprisingly, Gore's political career suggests not. In 1996, Gore stated that, quote, sometimes the US has to take unilateral action when our interests are at stake, unquote. So, whilst Gore was a liberal internationalist at heart, he was on record as saying he was willing to ignore the United Nations if necessary, and in that sense, would have probably not have been that different from George Bush. So, put simply, the presidency of Al Gore would have been very much the same as Bush in our timeline. As for other policies, Gore would probably have been more focused on climate change, which did not become a major political issue until much later in our timeline. So, it's possible that a Gore administration would have accelerated the prominence of green politics in world affairs by several years. As with all alternative history, we will never know for sure. But President Al Gore's term in office may not have been quite the contrast with Bush many people believe. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.